guys, it's Jess and I am here today with kind of like an end of the year TBR. Really, it's books I want to read before the end of the year. It's not a super long list. It's probably longer than it should be because it's me and that's what I do. <laughs> uh, but I am just going to roll through these. The first two are actually from the same series. It is the end of the Harry Potter series. I would like to finish Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince as well as Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Both of these books need to be finished by the end of this year because I have to finish the Harry Potter series by the end of this year. I have never read either of these. I actually have never read the Harry Potter series until this year and I've just been working my way through them. So book six and book seven need to be done within the next, you know, six weeks. Gosh, six weeks is the end of the year. That's frightening. The next is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. Moss? Not really sure. This is the second in the Throne of Glass series. I started it, got about halfway through, then I started reading Winter, and then I read other books and just got, you know, things got, this got left behind. Started reading other books and then this one just got left behind. So I want to finish it before the end of the year. Otherwise, knowing me, I'll have to start it all over. I still remember what was going on where I was, so I need to just dive back in and finish it. Then we have a book I recently hauled, which is Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is a book that I am dying to read. I've heard so many good things and I want to read it while the hype is going on. I want to be involved in the hype, which is something that doesn't usually happen for me. So it is going to be read by the end of this year. It is pretty big, but I hear that because of the format it's in, like there's a lot of pages that don't have too much on there. So I really want to get to it and just you know, enjoy it like everyone else has before the end of the year. It is probably going to be on my next two reads. Next, I have two books that I borrowed from my sister, which I really need to finish here really soon. The first is Silverborn by Patricia Briggs, and this is a Mercy Thompson. I want to say this is the fourth. It might be the fifth. Don't totally remember, but it is a urban fantasy. I like it. They're all very, very quick reads, so I this will probably be my next read, to be honest. And then we have Wayfarer, A Tale of Beauty and Madness by Lily St. Crow. I am pretty sure this is a retelling. I think it is Cinderella because there's a glass slipper. This is a series. My sister does have the other ones. I told her, let me read this one before I borrow the rest. So this has to be read by the end of the year. I told her they'd be done by November. We'll see if that happens, these two. I think I can get two done by November. Um, the end of November, I still have like couple days. So we'll see what happens, but those two are on my list. Then I have Standoff by Andrew Smith. This is the second in a sequel, I believe. Not sure how many. Don't know if it's a duology or if it's an actual sequel. Uh, I did read Winger and I enjoyed it. It put me in a bit of a shock because the first book I was really upset about that I've read. Uh, so I really need to read Standoff to see where we are. Uh, you know, a year later in these boys' lives. And last, I have I Am Malala by Malala. I cannot pronounce her last name. Uh, I, I want to read this by the end of the year. I have been really into nonfiction. I just finished, literally just finished, Why Not Me by Mindy Kaling. Highly recommend. If you can only read one chapter, if you're in, some, in Barnes & Noble and you want to you wanna check out a chapter of the book, Flip to the last chapter called Why Not Me and read that chapter. It is so good. Absolutely loved it. Made the book for me. Uh, but I am Malala. This will definitely be on my list of books to get to before the end of the year. And there we go. There's a handful of books that I really want to get to. I know the Harry Potter ones are really going to suck up some time. They always take forever for me to get through. Not because I don't enjoy them. It's just really strange. I It takes a long time for me to get through the Harry Potter books. Each one is taken easily two weeks, so there's a good chance I'm not going to finish them. Or I should just hit it hard and dedicate, you know, a week to actually sitting down and full on reading them, just plow through them. We'll see what happens. But thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know what books you are going to try and get to before the end of the year down below. Oh, or if you think there's any books I need to add to my list or I need to move up on my list, let me know down below. Thanks again. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!